Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> First timer. That's right, Lola Amour. Lola Amour. Uh, Amour. Uh, it's a song called Fallen. This is actually not new in terms of like, this band's been around for a while. That's Didn't true. Didn't we know about it? We're finding them um, out for the first time today. Uh, let's give it a watch. I know. I don't know what I just saw the thumbnail on. One of them had a trombone. A saxophone effort. Ah, uh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, the bassist, the bass players, get it down. If I told you that I've fallen, which one? What if I told you that I've fallen? Which? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yes. Like the way you say my name. Double thumbs up. I'm okay with this. My heart skips a beat when I hear you calling. Oh, wow, weird. What does he do? Rock usually? Wow, he's unreal. <laughs> and he's so chilled about it. Like, never mind. like he is like the, you know, you know, in those like early night, like late 90s, early 2000s movies where you have like the, the cool guy, but he doesn't know he's cool, so he's a bit shy. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's him. That's him. This is so good. <laughs> Slap that bass. I also feel like this isn't the genre. I feel like this is something, um, a new experimentation, perhaps. Because I feel like that guy, he would be so good at alternative rock. Totally. And I feel like he, they do alternative rock. Yeah. Maybe the totally the, the metal section is like special invitation. No, um, maybe. You know, or maybe that's I know all. What you mean. I, like this is a special arrangement. I like, don't know, uh, but it it, cause it it just adds so much to it though. It gives it this like. Mm, like ska feel. It would be so weird if this is like something like a different Lolo Amur song. Yeah. And in this comparison is the... to what they usually have as a sound, but it's like one of their best. This is so great though. Real. This is fabulous. Go back to that arrangement. Also, the pianist is having his best life. If I, told you that ah. I, fall in. I love that. I'll make you breakfast every morning. Pick you up when you're a mess. I hope that it won't ever stop. You know I'll be there when I love this guys. That's money. Bassist. What if I told you that I fallen? Never mind. If I told you that I fallen. Never mind. Never mind. What if I told you that I fallen? Never mind. Never mind. They do rock. <laughs> they have to do rock. What if I told you that I'm falling? You know what I mean? Yeah, I totally see it. Dude, he's a joke. That bass player, give him a raise, yeah? Wow, that song is so short. What the fuck? Listen, that is fabulous!
Yes. They have a lot of um, obviously dynamics going on, and and I wonder who sort of um, the composer of the song actually is. Uh, they says here indie band. Okay, so maybe they don't do rock indie. Maybe indie rock. Indie maybe. Rock. Who knows? Um, indie band Lola Amour performs "Falling Live of the Wish Was." The song, which is based on a real life experience, is about trying to confess your feelings only to get things quite complicated, mm. according to vocalist and songwriter Pio Dumayas, uh, or Dumayas, Dumayas, I think. The song yeah. isn't about falling in love. It's about setting. It's about settling for walking in circles because the only way out doesn't lead to a good place. Oh damn! That's not real love. What people. if I told you that? I, mm, da, 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 Dude, I want to be like that bass player when I'm older. Yeah, listen, he he came. He was like, I'm a hide here for a while. And I then, love these guys. Boom, Vogels, and then you're like, how did we get here? The freaking metal section was taking such a front uh, frontier here. You're like totally in this like cool ride of like jazz fusion situation, and then and then the, you're already in love with the main vocalist that, that that leads the song, right? So you're like totally in with the whole chill situation, and then you're paying attention to the lyrics because he's such a great um, carrying out the story in such a good way, and then the bass is slapping and the drums are drumming and everything is just doing it, right? They're like, so good. They're so, so good. The music is musicking in here, and then suddenly the freaking bass player starts singing. What? Yeah, it's very, it's very, very interesting, like their take on, on, again, the metal section, the percussion, very sort of simple uh, arrangements, but they are... A simpler, s- yeah, simpler. Uh, approach. It's not, it's not easy. What they've done is not easy, but it's a simpler approach to a bigger band number. Which I presume this is probably why this song has become probably very commercial. I don't know how it has done. It's, it's done very well on the Wish Bus, but I don't know if the original has done even better for them or st- streamed really well. Can I just say, though, what a sticky song. That song is going to stay with you forever. But I think it's because of the simple arrangements because it, it, it is uh, very easily digestible and I think a lot, everyone from different uh, sort of likes of music will be able to appreciate... Um, can I just say something though? The whole experience, the whole list of watching the the performance experience had me feeling so excited. Like I didn't know what to expect of the band, and then suddenly it's like this whole thing. Lola. And it's so colorful. I'm Lola, sweating. Lola Amour is a Filipino rock band. I okay. fucking knew it. Uh, that dabbles into the genre of modern rock, funk, and pop. The band consists of Pio Dumayas, which is the lead vocalist and the composer, okay. Martin Kim on the background vocals and keyboard. Uh-huh. Raymond King he also sings. Cool. on background and vocals and bass. This dude, this dude had had you all fooled. Zoe Gonzalez on lead guitar. Ange- Angelo Messina on trumpets. Also, they mm. always bring out the uh, the metals. Yes. Jocks Perez on the saxophone. Go Renzo Jokes. Santos on the drums. Shout out to the brother Renzo. Yeah. Uh, they also <laughs> introduced three sessionists into the band as regular performers. Jeff Abueg on the saxophone. Rafi, Rafi Perez. Perez on drums. Shout out to Rafi, yeah. Uh, and Manu Dumayas on trumpet. Oh, his brother, Pio Dumayas. Or maybe they're brothers from another mother. No, You I'm... never know. Okay. They've had uh, some past members and they came out yeah, 2013, mate. Oh, wow. Look at that. So they've been doing it for a little while. They've been doing it for a while. See, they, they're they not new. Coke and you Studios, can tell, Philippines. But how awesomeness. I love this song. This song is dope. I love that the fact that you get to discover something new through through the journey of the song itself. Like, I love that discovering aspect of it all. Because the song was fabulous at the beginning. And then as it develops, the more you fall in love with it. It's really great. It has such brilliant dynamics. Well, so don't you tell me that I've fallen. I love this section because I'm already freaking whipped. What if I told you that I fall and then what this guy comes I in. Told you that I fall. I shout out to Lola Amour. That is sick. Okay. Shout out. Let us know if there's any other bands you'd like us to review for the first time. Um, and if there are any Lola Amour songs that we should check out more. Was this song popular? It seems to be very popular on the Wish Bus. I hope it was very popular for them because it's a fire track. Goodbye. They're awesome.